This is the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox LT all-wheel drive with the one LT package and today we're going to review it. Today we're working with our friends at Mankato Motors Chevrolet in Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys in a Ride. Say, Nate, tell the folks what we're taking a look at today. Today we're taking a look at the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox LT with the LT1 package on it. That's right, but before we do, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to know how to use all the infotainment and technology built into these new cars, plus you like cool collector car stories, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell notification so you never miss a video. That's right, so what do you say, Nate? <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. The 2020 Chevrolet Equinox is available in four trim levels. There's the L starting at $24,995, LS at $27,495, LT at $28,695, and the Premier starts at $32,595. This 2020 Chevy Equinox is presented here in mosaic black with a jet black leather interior, and it has an MSRP of $35,390. Now it's powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with dual overhead cam design with direct injection and variable valve timing. It produces 170 horsepower and 203 pound foot of torque and is driven by a six speed automatic transmission and it has all wheel drive. Now out front it does have the high intensity discharge headlights with IntelliBeam, auto headlight beam and automatic on off and delay. You also do have the fog lights and it has the uh, the dark finish fog lamp bezel surround. This does as well have arrow or excuse me active arrow shutters and you see it does have the nice black grill with the black surround, the black bow tie. You've got the mosaic body colored bumpers and then up top you have uh, the intermittent wipers and it also does have an acoustic laminated windshield to help cut down on the noise outside. Let's take a walk around the side. Now I absolutely love these beautiful 19 inch high gloss aluminum wheels. Now they are also wrapped in P23550R19 all season black sidewall tires. It does have four wheel anti-lock brakes and of course four wheel disc brakes with 12.6 front and 11.3 inch rear rotors. Up front it is a McPherson strut front suspension and out back you have a four link rear suspension and it has a 3.87 axle ratio. It also has Stabilitrack electronic stability control system and traction control. Now these are heated power outside mirrors with the integrated turn signal indicators and it's driver auto dimming and it does also have the mosaic black caps. This package uh, you know you also have the uh, blackout package and it does have the body colored door handles and you see the little chrome button for the lock unlock and you have the black window trim but you have the nice chrome belt line trim and you have the deep tinted rear glass and up top you just no roof rails or no sunroof on this particular model but it just looks really really nice i also very much like the lower rocker panel molding which is the matte black keeps you from getting your paint uh, messed up down below with all the scuffs and rock chips and things like that that could uh, mess up your paint. So let's take a walk around the back. Okay, out back, this is a power lift gate. You do have the body colored roof spoiler and the high mount third light. It does have deep tinted rear heated fixed window with the intermittent wiper. It does have also the HD rear vision camera. And you see it does have the body colored rear bumper with a nice chrome strip below and then the matte plastic, uh, black plastic uh, rub strip. This also does have a single uh, outlet exhaust. Now, as I said, it is power liftgate. Open that up. All right, let's talk about the cargo. Cargo behind the front row is 63.9 cubic feet. Max cargo behind the second row, 29.9 cubic feet. 
Front rows to the rear sill, 72 inches. Second row to the rear sill, 35 inches. Cargo width at the belt line, 42 inches. Cargo width at the wheel houses, 41 inches. Cargo floor, ceiling to roof, 30 inches. And lift over height from the ground to the floor, 29 inches. Now, some of the safety systems available on this Equinox are forward collision alert. You've got the forward pedestrian braking, automatic emergency braking, and rear cross traffic alert. It has rear park assist as well. You can see the little assist uh, parking sensors down below. This has Chevy safety assist, following distance indicator, lane change alert with side blind zone alert and your mirrors it'll light up and show you and so much much more now some of the packages available for this equinox is a sport package you can get a midnight edition a confidence and convenience package there's something they call the hit the road package there's a chrome package a blackout package an infotainment package <laughs> an interior enhancement package cargo package roadside safety package and so very much more lots of ways to configure and make the equinox your very own so let's take a walk around the side again and talk about the dimensions okay front track is 62.2 inches rear track 62.2 inches overall width 72.6 inches overall length 183.2 overall height 65.4 inches wheelbase 107.3 inches um, 107.3 curb weight 3478 ground clearance 7.9 inches it's capable of towing 1500 pounds and it has a fuel tank capacity of 15.6 gallons it's turning circle 37.4 feet now let's talk about safety well iihs rating of good and national highway traffic safety administration overall rating of five stars Performance, 0 to 60, 6.8 seconds. Not blistering, but plenty fast. Quarter mile, 15.2 seconds. And more importantly, braking, 60 to 0, 121 feet. Now, its appearance. Well, it's contemporary styling that belies its size and the use of smooth curves helps to downplay its large, boxy dimensions. Well, what about dependability? It does have a basic warranty of 36 months, 36,000 miles. It has a drivetrain warranty, 60 months, 60,000 miles. And there is also roadside assistance for 60 months, 60,000 miles. Economy, 25 city, 30 on the highway with a combined total of 27 miles per gallon. So now let's take a look inside. But before we do, take a moment, please give us a like. And if you don't mind, leave a comment and make sure to always click on that subscribe button down below. So what do you say, Nate? Let's show the folks the inside. Stepping on the inside of the 2020 Equinox LT, on the door here, you've got soft uh, padded trim right here. Uh, you've got a little firmer trim up here, but it is still soft. And then down here you have uh, plastic. Now, as far as the windows go, you've got auto up and down for the driver and then express down for the rest of the four win uh, three windows. Got your window lockout. You got your uh, left and right mirror controls right here. You do have your unlock and lock buttons up here. And then down here, you have a, a two-person memory setting with, of course, the easy exit feature button right there. This is where you adjust your auto opening uh, rear door. And you can have it open to its max height and change it to three quarters or you can turn off that feature altogether. Now, uh, down here, you've got a bottle storage. You know, it's a little cutout right here that fits a bottle, okay? And you got a little bit of storage right here. You also have a small amount of storage right here in the pocket. Moving over to the driver's seat, you do have an eight-way power and two-position lumbar. And the passenger seat is manual, but you can adjust it up, down, forward, back, and tilt the back of the seat. The seats themselves in this particular trim package are leather. And I really like the yellow contrasting stitching that it has. Both front seats are heated. Now, down here, you've got a nice footrest on the left. You've got your pedals over there. You have your trunk release. And coming up a little bit further, 
you have got your uh, dashboard brightness and dimness control you've got your lights it does have uh, auto lights and then you can turn them all the way off by clicking this way to auto in the middle parking lights here or physically turn your lights on there and then this is your fog lamp button the steering wheel is tilt and telescope but it's manual and it's located right up in there now on the back of the steering wheel you've got a couple of buttons here which we won't be able to get from the front but they're right here and then you have two more on the other side of the steering wheel right there as well and i'll talk about those in a minute okay this is a push start I always like it when the dial spin around. All right, so over on the left, of course, you've got an analog RPM gauge. Over on the far right, you've got your analog speedometer. Then at the top, you've got an analog fuel gauge and an en uh, engine temperature gauge as well. Down below that is where we have the driver's information screen, and that is what you can control and change using the steering wheel controls. And we'll go through that in another video. So if you wanna see the details on that, click on the link above. Coming back here, uh, you can see that on the turn signal stock, you also have uh, your auto light uh, button right there. And so you, you have the auto lights on the, on the um, control panel down here, okay? And then up here is the one that actually turns your um, auto high beam and low beam on. So the other one just turns on auto lights, so they're dusk sensing. So they'll come on uh, as it gets darker. This is the part that turns the, uh, the auto high and low beam on. All right, moving back to the steering wheel controls, okay, we're gonna start with the left side. What we have up here on the left is your cruise control buttons, and then of course your lane keeping and lane assist functions. Uh, now this car uh, does not have adaptive cruise control. Um, what it does have is a standard cruise control and uh, so these are all the buttons around here that control your cruise control. This is on off, this is cancel, this is set, and that's your zero. And then of course, increase or decrease your cruise control speed while in cruise control mode. What this button does, it looks like a gap setting button for adaptive cruise, but it's not. It's your collision alert. And when I press that, um, this shows up in the dashboard. Right here. So you can change the gap that you want an alert if you're going to get in a collision. So the the less uh, buttons that are showing in the middle, then the closer you're going to be to a crash before it alerts you. So we're going to leave that set all the way out. Now the other button on the steering wheel here is your lane keeping assist and when it's lit it's on. So if I go over here and I'll show you the dashboard as I click it on. And then you can see it showing up on the far left. All right, over on the right side of the steering wheel is where you're gonna control all of your driver's information screen stuff with this. This is your voice command, which runs, it'll control your phone, your media, and your navigation. And then of course, this will cancel your uh, voice command. Hey, it also hang up your phone. This of course has your windshield wiper uh, controls right over here on the right. All right, including your rear windshield wiper. All right, moving over uh, to the infotainment screen. This is an eight inch screen. It has six speakers. Uh, it is the infotainment three system from Chevy. Uh, it's very, very nice. It does include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, Bluetooth, XM radio, it includes AM and FM radio, and of course, HD radio. And that's all in there. And we will go through that in another video. So if you wanna see the details on that, click on the link above. Uh, right down below, we do have a few physical buttons. You've got a home button, which if you press once, gives you the apps. If you press it again, it brings you to the split screen. Uh, you've got uh, forward and uh, backwards and forwards for skipping through uh, songs or radio stations. Pushes power, rotate is volume, and that's your back button. Moving on down below with the LT1 package, this does come with dual AutoZone climate control. So the digital temperature shows up for each uh, side right here in the dial. You can change that by rotating it. And then you, of course, you've got your heated seat button, which is three stages. 
right here on both sides. And then down here, of course, you just have your typical uh, controls. You have your rear defroster, uh, max defroster for the front recirculatory, fan speed. You can turn the climate system on or off right there. You can turn it to auto, and then these are your modes. Then, of course, AC button, and I really love it that the sync button is physical, and it's right there. All right. Moving down below that just a little bit, you have two USB uh, inputs. Either one will connect you to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Uh, one is just a USB-C, one is a standard USB. And then you have a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug in yet another audio source. And then, of course, a 12-volt outlet. This is uh, not a wireless charging pad that doesn't come with an option on the Equinox. Uh, but it is a nice rubberized pad and does fit a uh, full-size smartphone. Now... Up here uh, is a physical shifter knob, I, and I like that, you know. Now, in, in the drive position, the uh, plus and minus buttons don't work for shifting. If you want to use those, then you need to move it down to low, and then you can use these for shifting as well. Now, in front of that, you do have the all-wheel drive button. So you can have it as a two-wheel drive if you want. Uh, and if you don't want, then you can turn that on. It's, it's just that simple so probably a little better fuel economy with it off if you don't need it back here of course you do have the parking brake and then you have two nice cup holders with a pass through where you can lay a phone or something through there right behind that if I tilt the camera just a little bit you've got another little uh, storage area right here all right moving back just a little bit further we have a little bit of storage here there's just a little squeeze handle underneath you do have a removable tray right here, right here, which is nice. You do have an LED light. And then down in here, you have got two more USB charging ports and a fairly deep storage area. I mean, that's that's got to be over six inches deep. Okay. And then on the back here, you do have storage. Um, would be for like a smaller cell phone right there. You got some pen storage built in and you got some a little clip here that will hold, um, you know, like business cards and that kind of stuff. But uh, just really, really uh, neat that they put all those little additional things just in the cover. The glove compartment is a soft opening. Uh, it's not felt lined or anything, but it's nice and deep. A lot of things can fit in there. Okay. Moving on up, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror. And then if I come back a little bit further here, you have your three home link buttons. This button turns all your dome lights on in the car. And then this button will regulate whether dome lights come on or off uh, with the doors open or not. And then of course you have all of your safety buttons up here. And then you do have a glass storage back here. The visors themselves are backlit. Okay. On both sides, and of course, they do telescope. All right, let's step into the back and see what that's like. All right, uh, in the second row, you've got, of course, your trash down uh, power button. You've got a bottle storage down here, one of your six speakers. A little bit of extra storage up here with a rubber slip uh, non-slip bottom soft touch materials here and again plastic around here all right well, uh, the seats themselves are leather in this particular trim and uh, I love the orange contrasting stitching that looks really really nice now the seats themselves do recline uh, and you have to do that by grabbing this button that's right back here if you pull that then you can push the seat and let the button go and you can recline it at several different uh, intervals so um, let's step in and take a look. All right, uh, sitting in behind here, I got the seat left where it was when I was driving. I, I mean, I've got at least six inches of space. It's, it's just huge. And then as far as headroom goes, you know, I've got a good two inches. So lots of space back here. Um, as far as this, the seats the, up in the front here, you got the, the two uh, map pockets right here. And then you got your air vent controls right here. And then you do have uh, not only two USB charging ports, but down here you've got a household outlet as well. And I like it, it's a three prong. Sometimes we see a two prong, I, I like that, that it's got the three prong outlet. Now in the middle, of course, there is an armrest. 
and I love it that it's elevated. It's very, very comfortable. And then you got two cup holders right here. Now, should you want to lay the seats flat, all you do is grab that same lever I did to tilt it and just pull it straight forward. So overall, very roomy interior on this car, very comfortable. Thanks for watching. All right, my favorite thing is the HD rear backup camera. It's a very nice picture. Of course, you do have dynamic swivel guidelines, which you can turn on or off right there. But that is my favorite thing. Okay, and my favorite thing, hopefully you can see this. It's got just enough metal flake in this paint. And I like that it's not just flat, plain black. It actually does have a nice metal flake in it and on this mosaic black. And that is my favorite thing, the color.